The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O God. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment you go greetings reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Savior, because he has looked upon his lonely handmaid. Yes, from this day, Forward, all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things to me. Holy is His name. And His mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear Him. He has shown the power of His arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lonely. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich sent away empty. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy. According to the promise he made to our ancestors of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever, Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we celebrate the feast of the visitation of our Blessed Mother to her cousin Elizabeth. The very fact, the question that Elizabeth puts before Mother Mary is, why should the mother of my Lord visit me? My dear brothers and sisters, when the experience of God touches a person, he is no longer the same. He transforms. He is a new person, a person of love, a person of service, a person of the other oriented. And this is precisely we see in the life of our Blessed Virgin Mary. The very fact the angel Gabriel told her the message of God, she no longer counted herself worthy. Or she never said that from now on I am going to relax, the people would come to me. No. When angel Gabriel told that your cousin Elizabeth is pregnant, she immediately, after the departure of the angel Gabriel, she went, as the gospel says, went as quickly as possible. Because she knew that her cousin Elizabeth was in her old age and God had been merciful to her. And she needed someone to be with her. Because during the time of pregnancy, we all know that the mother requires a lot of care. She has to be very careful. And Mother Mary knew that exactly. And therefore, she wasted no time in running to be with her cousin Elizabeth. Today, this feast invites us that in this world of WhatsApp, 
wherein we just put a message in in the previous we would visit but today that visitation has taken a, another form of whatsapp we just message how are you but today this feast reminds each one of us that we need to visit our brothers and sisters who are in need of our help they may not tell us but we need to be like mother and go to them and help them out we need to carry the message of god the message of mercy message of love message of care and concern this feast invites us to be of the other oriented my dear brothers and sisters today we also begin the tresedina or the 13 day novena to saint anthony of padua and today being the first day we reflect his early years now saint anthony of padua was born in 1195 on the 15th of august on the feast of the assumption of blessed mother he was born in lisbon and his uh, dad's name was martin who was the successor of godfrey who the historians say that godfrey was the leader during the first crusade the mother of saint anthony was maria and both of them they had high hopes they had great dreams for their son saint anthony my dear brothers and sisters the school name of saint anthony was fernando and he was given the best of education his parents admitted him in the cathedral of saint mary given him the best of education because his father wanted him to be the knight of the king sancho and therefore he didn't waste any moment or he didn't uh, left any stone unturned in giving or providing the best of education to his son but saint anthony of fernando had a different plans he was not interested in this worldly ways he had already made a radical choice and that choice that he had made was to dedicate his life to the service of god and he knew that his dad would not agree to but still he had already made his choice to be at the service of god my dear brothers and sisters it is a coincidence we can say that today we begin the novena to saint anthony of padua and today is also the feast of the visitation of the blessed virgin mary there is a close connection between mother mary and saint anthony the very fact the day when he was born it was on the feast of the mother mary the assumption later on he was admitted to the cathedral of saint mary for higher education and it is said that during his baptism his mother dedicated saint anthony or fernando to the care and protection of mother mary so there is a very close connection and we will see during this novenas that how he had a deep love for the blessed virgin mary my dear brothers and sisters as we are going to reflect today the dignity of human life when saint anthony of padua was born his family members were very happy joyful and during the medieval time the society would celebrate the birth of a child but today in this modern society where we live today we don't see 
the same joy that the medieval society saw today we are in a fixed state we don't want children one side there are abortions killing the young life my dear brothers and sisters human dignity is the foundation of a moral vision and we are not the authors of life it's only god who is the author of life god gives us life and only he has right to take it but somewhere down the line we as human beings have forgotten that and therefore abortion euthanasia murder killing it's coming naturally we don't like someone we finish them off but this is not though right this is not in our hands to take someone else's life we are called to respect life and that is very important that we need to reflect today if at all mother mary went in haste or if at all mother very mother mary went quickly it because of life because her cousin elizabeth was pregnant and at her old age there was no one to support her she went to support her cousin elizabeth and more importantly the life that she was having within her so my dear brothers and sisters our pope francis in his letter the joy of love he says that it is so beautiful creation of god it is the the beauty of god is the creation the greatest thing that we all possess apart from all these material things they are not the greatest things the greatest thing that each one of us possess is the gift of life it is in and through this gift of life that the all other gifts we are able to enjoy if there is no gift of life the all other gifts are of no importance so my dear brothers and sisters today we need to pray for our world very especially the young generation who are not able to understand the importance of life for them abortion comes naturally when they are able to bear children they are choosing career and when they need children at that moment they are not able there are many young couples who don't want children they put these children in the dust bins or waste bins or leave them on the road side many a times we hear this in the newspaper where is this importance of human life where is this dignity to human life is human life become so cheap my dear brothers we need to think about it every life is important every life counts so my dear brothers and sisters the parents of saint anthony of padua respected life they were happy when saint anthony of padua was born we need to pray that every couple who brings a new life into this world may they be happy with that if we are not happy then we are on the wrong when then and when then we choose the wrong path so today let us pray for all the doctors and nurses may they completely say no to abortions to euthanasia may all those person who are angry with their brothers sisters may they not indulge in violence may they like mother mary take the message of mercy accept it in their life and thus share it with the others like mother mary did and also saint anthony did through his preaching so we pray today for the human life that 
we may all protect in whichever capacity we can. We pray for this grace during this Holy Eucharist today.